Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you to this channel. Uh, in this video, I am trying to explain uh, uh, how, what is insight meditation and how to practice insight meditation. Now, two disclaimers. Uh, number one is that I am not a dharma teacher. I am a dharma student. I have been practicing various forms of meditation for many years. And uh, after coming in Buddha's knowledge, I am studying the scriptures one by one. So, this is based on my limited understanding of the Satipatthana Sutra, the discourse on the four foundations of mindfulness, which Buddha said to be is the direct path of liberation. Right? In the if you see the if you read the sutra, Buddha said that this what I am telling you is the direct path. Point A to point B. What is the goal? Liberation. Right? And this is the direct path to liberation, which all beings can take. Right? So I will make a direct a separate video. Satipatthana Sutra is a topic which is subject to many commentaries, many books. So Whatever my limited knowledge of Satipatthana Sutra is of my reading, I will bring it into a separate video. But this video is focused on uh, how we can practice the meditation uh, in line with the Satipatthana Sutra, right? So that I am sharing some of the learnings. One more disclaimer that this meditation is not uh, is not uh, as per the Vipassana meditation that is taught by uh, the SN Goenka ji's uh, uh, classes, the 10 day course that happens. That is different. See, what Buddha said, uh, taught in the Satipatthana Sutra, various traditions, various schools use that particular knowledge to uh, prescribe certain meditation instructions. So my, what, what I'm sharing is not, not in line with that. But yes, they practice uh, and uh, uh, they have a 10-day free course. You can, whatever, like if, as is, is it's possible for you, you can do that course and reap the benefits. A lot of people have reaped a uh, lot of benefits from that course. But my only point is that if at all you are not able to make it for the course, like the 10 days you cannot spare or due to any physical, mental illnesses, any difficulties that you are facing, uh, uh, you are not able to go, then you can at least start with this, right? This particular uh, instructions. If you resonate with me, uh, then you can at least start on that direction, right? Okay. And when it's possible for you, you can go and attend. Right? So what is insight meditation? The insight, the meditation, actually in my view, it's a wrong word. Insight is a product. The work that we have to do in the meditation is practicing mindfulness on the four objects that are given as per the Satipatthana Sutra, which is mindfulness of body, mindfulness of feelings, mindfulness of state of mind, and mindfulness of the objects of the state of mind or phenomenon. Right? So we have to practice mindfulness on these four things. And then as a byproduct, what, what arises is, insight which is called vipassana right so basically what we do is that we practice mindfulness which results in our mind getting concentrated one pointed and that one pointed mind naturally leads to arising of the insight what insight that everything is impermanent things arise and fall things arise the feelings sensations thoughts they just arise keep arising and falling because in our day-to-day -day life we are so busy we are not able to observe this phenomenon and we are just at a surface level. But when we start piercing the wheel through our concentrated mind, we realize that everything is just uh, uh, impermanent. Then why should I get attached to anything? Why should I crave for anything? What I am craving is anyways impermanent. I am into impermanent. I am composed of these five aggregates, body, mind, feelings. I am going to disintegrate the object which I am, you know, uh, 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 feeling attracted towards that is also going to disintegrate. So when that insight arises, that insight frees us, right? So if you see, uh, Buddha said the noble eight, eight full, the four noble truths. The number one is life is suffering. Number two is the cause of suffering is craving, aversion, and ignorance. So this ignorance is now replaced with insight, and that insight frees us. We are in this cycle of suffering because of our craving and aversions. Once we realize that it is everything is impermanent, then we are on our path to liberation, right? So in my view, it should not be called insight meditation. It should be called mindfulness meditation. The product of that mindfulness meditation is insight, right? Now, our task here in this meditation is first we need to try to concentrate our mind. So our minds are generally scattered. They are like we think of 10 different things. So mind is constantly running around here and there. Our task in this meditation is first to concentrate our mind on one thing, right? And then when the mind is concentrated, vipassana naturally, insight naturally arises, right? Now, how to concentrate the mind? The best way is through anapan, right? Anapan is mindfulness of breathing, right? Breathing is something which is happening naturally. We can either sense the breathing here in this point, the 
the breath coming in and out or we can bring our attention to the abdomen and the abdomen going out and coming in this is happening this will happen till we die right so this is we can make use of this process to bring our awareness on our breathing concentrate our mind so if you are like meditating for 20 minutes you can start with some anapan like for 5 minutes right concentrate your mind to a certain extent then that after that you can practice the mindfulness otherwise if your mind is not concentrated mind is scattered then even if you try to practice mindfulness you will not like if there is a thought that comes you will be drowned in that thought your mind you will be maybe thinking for next 5 minutes you will be thinking about that thought and then you when you return back you realize oh i have been meditating right so first we need to concentrate our mind make it one pointed so that our energy of mindfulness is so strong that we can be a witness we don't get drawn into the various things right so what basically we have to do first generate concentration then if mind is when mind is concentrated then we just observe whatever is arising like sounds may arise so we just witness the sound we don't give it our full attention just be a witness it let it arise and fall just witness then a sensation may arise in the body then a good feeling may arise then a bad feeling may arise or it may be neutral or may, we may feel dull right or we may feel uh, some ill will hatred coming up or we may feel some sexual desire coming up we just keep witnessing let it just arise and fall as we become witness we don't give our energy to that particular feeling or that object it like it arise it will arise and then it will fall it will arise and it will fall this is our practice this is our practice just watching okay so we will just keep watching of the various things and over time we realize the impermanent nature of things in this entire existence right as buddha said that three marks of existence impermanence is one of the marks of the existence and we start realizing this through this meditation right so how to practice right coming to the actual instructions first you start with 10 minutes now it may be uh, see if you are a beginner start with 10 minutes but slowly try to increase you can go up to half an hour or you can also go up to one hour depending upon what is how much you can maintain your mindfulness everyone has their capability level so first start with 10 minutes and then you can slowly increase you can have a timer or a bell i use the insight timer app you can use that and you can also have some bells in between so you know if your mind is lost then you that bell can uh, uh, wake you up right so you can start with uh, 10 minutes or one more thing i will say if you are sitting for longer periods sometimes it is difficult for the body to keep pace what you can do instead is if you want to plan for one hour sitting have like 25 uh, minutes sit, uh, seated meditation then 10 minutes you just do a walking meditation i have made a, another video on walking meditation you can check that and then you can again do a 25 minutes sitting meditation so this is good for our body our body gets to move so that is also you can explore right now sit in a comfortable position spine should be straight spine should be as much straight as possible it should be like a bow right not very stretched but if you sit like this erect spine is basically helps you to maintain awareness if the spine is not straight then you can go in dullness drowsiness and right uh, then eyes can be closed or eyes can be half closed or if you want to keep eyes open that is also fine let it let them close naturally that you can do then you can bring your awareness first on your breathing now there are two ways to do it there are two ways number one which is like this place where you can keep the attention and the in and out breathing but for me it it is difficult for what i prefer is keeping my attention on the abdomen and and like one or two inches below the abdomen which is the lower dentian point right there the in and out that is happening of the belly as i breathe that is more easier for me anything you can do right there is no hard and fast rule but important to fix an anchor right so that if the mind gets lost or your concentration levels go down you can always come back to that particular anchor do the in and out breathing bring your concentration back and then come to the uh, meditation uh, mindfulness right so practice for a few minutes anapan uh, meditation which is the mindfulness of breathing concentrate your point now concentrate your mind now important thing to realize is do not change the breathing let the breathing remain as it is right just be aware of the breathing do not add anything any mantra or anything just be aware the in and out of the breathing right just be aware of that do not change it in any way right 
If it's a long breath, just know that it's a long breath. If it's a short breath, just know that it's a short breath, right? Okay. Then once your concentration level is reached to a certain point, just move to practicing mindfulness. That means whatever is arising, just watch. It's It may be a sound, it may be a sensation, it may be any feeling in the body, any positive, negative feeling. Just note, keep noting it that this is arising, this is arising without any judgment, without any craving, without any aversion, without wanting for the uh, the pleasant feeling to last, without wanting the uh, negative feeling to go away or running away from the negative feeling, just observing what is arising. Now, sometimes what happens is uh, negative things, you know, uh, past trauma, these things come up, crop up. Now that you have created a space for the feelings and thoughts to emerge. So if you feel that your uh, mindfulness, your concentration level is going down, and you feel like drowning into that particular uh, feeling or emotion, immediately change gears. Like you change gears in a car, change gears and come back to the breathing. Practice the breathing more some, some time. Then when you have got the spiritual energy of mindfulness going up in you, then you can start practicing the mindfulness. Again, start watching. Right? So this way, what like you can like you drive a car. If it's a city street, then you drive in a lower gear. Then if it's a highway, you immediately move to a higher gear. Then if you see another car that is coming, then you shift to a lower gear to reduce when you reduce the speed. Similar way we have to do in our meditation. First, concentration, then mindfulness. Then if the, concent if the uh, concentration levels are going down, come back to the uh, uh, breathing and then increase concentration level. This you will learn as you practice this. Buddha has said this practice, mindfulness practice is the direct path to liberation. So that is how important this practice is, right? So we can learn, we will have our, we will do our mistakes, but with every practice we do, we will become stronger and stronger, right? Now, uh, apart from, so then you can do it like 15, 20 minutes and see if you can increase, do it two times a day, right? That's advisable. And during the day, what we need to do is that we need to, again, so Satipatthana Sutra, please understand this thing. Satipatthana Sutra is not some meditation uh, that is advised by Buddha. Buddha advised this as the path, right? If you see the Noble Eightfold Path, one of the Noble Eightfold Paths is right mindfulness. So the Satipatthana Sutra is corresponding to that. So basically Buddha said that you start practicing mindfulness during the entire day. It's not like you do the meditation and you, you forget everything. No, during the day you start. You keep practicing mindfulness on the body, on the feelings, on the state of mind and on the objects of mind. So, for example, anxiety comes up. Come back to your breathing. Right? Uh, some negative feelings come up. Focus. Oh, this is arising. Right? Just be aware without judgment. What the meditation helps is, morning and uh, evening meditation, if you do, is that it helps you generate that energy so that you can practice mindfulness across entire day. If you don't do this practice and especially if you are a beginner then practicing mindfulness during the day can be a bit challenging right so that is what then what we have to do practice is the five precepts no killing no stealing no uh, sexual misconduct right all these things we need to uh, keep practicing in our life then we need to study the noble eightfold path live according to it and also if possible uh, please go through the satipatthana sutra once it's a bit technical it's a bit long but please do study the uh, Satipatthana Sutra, read any commentary that you get on Satipatthana Sutra, it will clarify more things. Right? This is just a basic beginner instruction that I am giving so that you get started right? and then keep doing our work so that and keep practicing the meditation, you will find your own way. right? So I hope this uh, video was helpful. Do share your comments, thoughts in the comment section. I would look forward to uh, uh, listening, uh, hearing them, sorry, reading them and replying to them. And uh, I hope this video made some sense. And uh, thank you so much. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya.